Hi everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a quick sit down thrift haul with you. I'm about to, you know, take all of my spring decor down and start decorating for the summer season. So I have some really cool antique and vintage items that I found thrifting and antiquing over the last few months. Some of these things I've had set aside for a while, like some flea market finds, and I just haven't gotten around to filming this video. So today's the day. I'm going to share these things with you and then hopefully you'll be seeing some decorating videos coming up. Actually, let me show you. Everything's in this suitcase. Oh, this little suitcase I found also, but it's just kind of filled with a bunch of random things. So let's just get into it. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna start with these because my birthday was this past month. Well, I don't know when this video is going up, but my birthday was May 23rd, and I went to the antique store with Garrett, of course, and he let me pick out some stuff. So I found these adorable, what I'm assuming are wedding shoes. That's what the ladies at the counter were saying, that they look like preserved wedding shoes, and they are so cute. So these are gonna look so good in the curio cabinet and, or in the, just in the bedroom somewhere. They do say something on the inside. It says, El Nuevo Mundo Laredo, Texas. They're so tiny, like who could fit their feet in here? I need to take a picture of them on Google Lens and see if anything pops up. Okay, also I found these at an antique store, these little mini kind of shiny bright ornaments. <laughs> they were only $6. I thought that was a really good price. Normally these are priced much higher. Gareth did drop this box and one broke, so that's unfortunate, but I just love these. Look at this side of the box, isn't that so cute? And I thought, like I said, $6, good price, had to have those. Um, what else did I get at the antique mall? This little like coaster, I'm gonna assume that's what it is. Has this tapestry on this side, but I really liked this dark velvet green, so this is probably how I'll use it. And it was only $2.95, and I just thought that was really pretty. I also got this at an antique store. It was $8, this adorable little black velvet vintage purse. Has these little pearls. And yeah, just like little pearls. There's no label on the inside, so I'm not sure how old it is, but it certainly seems old. So I'm excited to kind of rearrange some things in the bedroom in my curio cabinet, and I'll try to share that when I do. <laughs> I found another vintage Bible for $3. I feel like I only really find mid-century Bibles. It's really hard to come by antique ones, even at antique stores. Um, this one was, I think, written on the inside, yeah, 1949 to 1951. I'm not sure why there's a dash in there, but just another Bible to add to my collection. Okay, so this is kind of funny. I've had this for a while. If you follow me on Instagram, you would maybe remember it from one of my stories, but this little vintage brass lipstick holder, and I like it. I'm gonna use it to store my actual vintage lipsticks that I have, but why is this cherub up here? Why is he so weird looking? He's got little jeweled eyes, but his head is just so big, and I just don't understand, but it's really cute. I can't remember how much this was, but it was definitely less than $10. Okay, this, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. It's kind of like a sagey green. On camera, it looks more olive green, but it's pretty busted, um, but I like it. It's like a velvet presentation box. I'm not sure what would have been inside of here. It says, oh, pearls. Okay, pearls would have been in there. Oops, it's pretty dirty and beat up, but I think I'm just gonna use it to just display a bunch of random little things in my curio cabinet, and I just think it's so pretty. I think it was $6, if I remember correctly. I collect hat boxes, so I found this little gold hat box for $1.99. It does have some damage right here. That's okay. There's no markings or store. Usually it says like a store name or something on there. Um, but I just like to use these for vignettes and little risers. They're so fun. Or to have like gloves hanging out of. Okay, these are so cool. I got these from an online estate auction. There were two more, but I got outbid and I gave myself a budget, so I only left with two. I paid $5 each. I'm unsure about what they are because they're blank on the inside, so I'm assuming that means they're a journal. And they say the same last name, Martin L. Taylor and Dora Taylor. And one says useful hints on teaching and the other says my knowledge of American Indians. Like I said, they're blank, so I guess they didn't really know much about things, but I thought they were really cool. Actually, the inside of this one is written Father's Day, 
1970, so I guess it was a gift. I don't know, but I just love the spines. I wish I had a whole entire roll, row of these. I think they're so cool. Here's a little pin cushion I found. It was only 25 cents. I think it's just like a little reproduction pin cushion, and normally I don't like mustard or yellow, but it's cool. It's like little velvet, has sand in there, and I thought it would be cute to actually display some vintage pieces on there. Okay, let's see, I did go to two separate flea markets recently, and I paid $2 at one, and I do have another book, but it's on the mantle, I don't feel like getting it, but it's just another navy book. I've been trying to collect some dark blue navy books for my summer decor, and I thought this one was so pretty. The stupid camera lens always has a shadow. It says, oral and written English, complete book, I think Potter. And the copyright date, I believe, was 1921. Yes, 1921. And it has some like ephemera in there, written, handwritten notes and stuff. Y'all know that I love that. Oh look, there's like a little telegram. Oops, in there. So, honestly, that's a good deal. Two vintage antique books for $2 each or what no I paid two dollars for both and then they had this little bag of vintage pearl buckles I'm assuming they're buckles I'm not positive here's two of them they're like a brownish color <laughs> I'm not sure what these would have been used for but there's three I'm assuming mother of pearl pieces as well I need to find a way to display these this one's cool it has like a little metal bar on the back of it so yeah, I thought those were really neat. And like I said, so $2 for all those buckles and then two books. Okay, and then from another flea market, I paid $8 for a bundle of items. There's a few more pieces that I have styled already on the mantle, but I don't really feel like disrupting. So I'm just gonna show you these things here. I found this Avon soap and I thought it'd be really cute on a bathroom shelf. I love the scene with the kids on it. And then there's actually soap inside of it still. So that will be fun to style and set aside for Christmas. And then these will also be for Christmas. I got two red transferware little small plates here. So pretty with the birds. It says Bristol crown something England. And then I also got two bowls. She did have quite a stack of these, but I don't have the space to store a bunch of them since I am just gonna be using them for Christmas time. But they were too pretty, so I had to get at least a few. I also found this little flower frog. It's like tucked inside this little brass piece. I've never seen one like this, and I thought that was really neat. So this alone is worth the $8 I spent. So is the transferware. And then I do collect hand mirrors. So she had some celluloid vanity pieces, so I grabbed the mirror. Um, I just think it's pretty, but I really love this side with all the damage on there. I don't know why, I just really think that's cool. So. Uh, that will go with my collection in the bedroom. Okay, maybe y'all can help me with this piece. I got it at an antique store. I think it was like $5. And she had it labeled salt shaker. This is not a salt shaker. Maybe for someone who wants to die because look how big that hole is. There's no way. So I meant to look it up, but I, of course I didn't. So if you know what this is for, please let me know. I do have it just kind of tucked into my curio cabinet. But for some reason, I feel like this is meant to go with a vanity set but not positive, so if you know things, let me know. <laughs> Y'all, I finally found some horse prize or horse show prize ribbons. These are so hard to come across in real life. Like, sure, you can get them on eBay and Etsy where they're more expensive, but I finally found some. Um, this one was $4. Once again, it's mustard, not into the mustard yellow, but I think it'll go fine with my equestrian decor for the summertime. And I love these little tassels at the bottom. This one says 1956. And then there's this cute little white one. This was $3, it says 1976. And then I loved this purple one. Isn't that color so pretty? This one also, well this one says 1976. I'll probably put this in the bedroom where it's more like feminine colors in there. And then I found this big one for a dollar at an antique store, probably because it's newer. I think this is 1992. I need to iron out the tails, but if you see here, just has like a little image on there. A while back I found, where'd it go? A while back I found these horse like button covers, like Western ones, and I thought I really wanna add that to something. So I think I'm just gonna hot glue this on here and it'll just kinda like dress it up a bit and make it look maybe a little older and just nicer. So I'm gonna do that and I'm so excited to have finally found some ribbons. 
Okay, so it's no secret that I'm like obsessed with these round oval picture frames and I like to put Victorian photos in there. So I found this one for a dollar and then I picked up a couple of Victorian cabinet cards from the antique store. They were $2 a piece. I'm gonna cut them out and put them in this frame. But why? Okay, I'm such a dork. I went online and I found Victorian cabinet cards of dogs and I'm gonna print one out and put the dog in between them instead of like a baby. I don't know why I think that's so funny. If I get around to it by the time this video goes up, I'll insert a clip of what it looks like, but I just think that's hilarious for some reason because I love dogs, so. And then I also grabbed this lady, isn't she fabulous? Now this is my frame. This is a round photo inside here, um, but I do want to get a more ornate round oval frame to put her in because I think it would just be much better. But isn't she fabulous? I'm wondering if this is a morning photo because she's wearing all black and she has all her furs and feathers on. But I just thought she was so cool. It's probably my favorite Victorian photo that I own now. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> okay, the other day I ran into the thrift store and I found the best stuff in this haul. I'm gonna save my favorite for last. But I found another mother of pearl piece. This is a brooch. All right, my camera battery just died, so I'm not really sure what I was just saying, but I was showing this brooch. It was $4, mother of pearl. Now, the reason I'm wondering if it's Victorian is because Tarnished Treasures says that if the pin goes past the clasp, then it could be older, and this one does. So what do y'all think? Do you think this is Victorian? Of course, that would make me so happy if it was, but I just think this is beautiful, and I never come across stuff like this, so I paid $4 for this. I found another little dog figurine. This one was a dollar. It's like a Scotty or a Westy Terrier. I don't know why I can't stop buying dog figurines. I have a couple or a few of these little ones like this, and the bigger ones are much harder to find, but I couldn't leave him behind. He's so cute. I also can't stop buying these brass candle sconces. I have um, a handful of the oval ones, and I thought this one was different. It has like a bouquet of flowers up here. And what I think I'm gonna do with it is where I have my mother's gunny sack dress hanging on the wall. It's just like a thumbtack holding it up. So this could serve as a nice little hook for that. And this was $3. Okay, before I show you the best piece of all time, I found these two brass scalloped trays this one was four, this one was three, and when I looked these up on eBay, they were listed for like $100 um, each. So I think I might try to sell one and keep one because I do like them. I won't list mine for 100 since there's already others on there for that price, but um, I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> They're scalloped on the edges, and then I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's little birds all over here and other little designs. I can't really tell what else, but birds, flowers, and y'all know I've been loving the birds, so I think I'm gonna keep one and use it as like a little tray. I wanna keep both, but I need to try to at least resell one and make some money possibly. Okay, finally, the best piece for last. Here she is, the most gorgeous little English ironstone creamer or pitcher. I have not found English ironstone in so long, and if I do, it's always like a plate or a small plate. Never anything as beautiful as this. So I was so thrilled to see this sitting on the thrift store shelf. Look at these beautiful scallops. It's just so pretty and it was only $3. That's insane. So I got so lucky and yeah, this is definitely one of the best things I've found in a really long time. I haven't come up with the way to style it yet, but I'm probably just gonna put it in here with some silverware in there, you know. But yeah, that is my favorite item in today's haul. Let me know down below what your favorite item is. That's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.